Hey guys, it's Greg with Buy the Bootstraps, btbootstraps.com. Uh, check out the store, uh, check out the website, um, btbootstraps.com. Check out the social media pages. Like and subscribe to the video if you enjoy this. Um, today I'm going to be discussing this whole entire controversy with the Covington Catholic High School from Kentucky. Um, I'm going to be reading notes from my phone here that I took down. Uh, so if you see me looking down, it's just because I'm trying to make sure I get everything. Um, first of all, wow. What a load of bullshit, if I've ever seen it. Uh, this is definitely going to be one of those political videos, guys. So if you don't like it, go ahead and leave now. But if you do, great, wonderful. All right. So anyway, there's been a story that's been going on, been brewing now in the media for about three, four days. Um, well, actually from this weekend. I think it was Saturday. Here we are, Tuesday. And there's been this huge story blowing up about these uh, Catholic... Uh, Catholic kids from a high school in Kentucky uh, who went to the Right to Life uh, March rally in Washington, D.C. And supposedly what's being reported to us by CNN, MSNBC, Yahoo News, you know, all the major media outlets that these guys were aggravating, uh, borderline assaulting, being racially insensitive, uh, uh, demanding and belittling this 64 year old Native American by the name of Nathan Phillips, okay, who supposedly is a Vietnam war, uh, war veteran. <clears throat> anyway, okay, that's what they're telling you. And they're telling you this based on this four minute clip that's shown with this Native American Nathan Phillips banging this drum in front of this one kid by the name of Nick Sandman's face, okay? He's literally like two inches from his face banging a drum, which he claims that the kids surrounded him, threatened him, made him feel insecure that they had hate in their eyes and he could tell that they wanted to rip him to shreds if given the opportunity. They had the numbers for it. You fucking liar. I saw the video, the actual two hour video. It's actually an hour and 49 minutes long, I pulled it from YouTube. And it starts off with the wonderful group of people known as the Hebrew Israelites, that known terrorist organization or classified as a terrorist, or not terrorist, but hate organization. You know, the same ones who hate all whites practically, hate Jews, hate Asians, hate gays. You know, these guys were out there doing some kind of rallying that was being recorded. And at the same time, you had an Indigenous People Day rally that was going on on the Lincoln Mall. So these kids from this diocese show up, and they're waiting for a bus, supposedly, to go back to Kentucky. Okay? These kids did nothing wrong except be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and they had the audacity to wear MAGA hats. Make America Great Again. You know, the red hats that everyone seems to hate because, oh, it... it, it supposedly reminds us now of white hoods from the KKK, all right? It's now being called brown shirts, all right? You know, as though it's some form of fascism, as though it's some form of like some extreme hate group. No, it's just a bunch of kids who got together from Kentucky, from a Catholic diocese, went up to the March of Life, which is about, you know, saving children from abortion. Whether you believe that or not, whether you agree with it or not, you know, that's all they were doing. They were at the wrong place at the wrong time. Right? They get there at this rally and they come back and in the video, the actual hour and 49 minute video, you see these Israelites, these Hebrew Israelites who just start verbally attacking them. Okay? These are some of the words that were in the video. These are actual quotes from the people that were there. Okay? They were called child molesting faggots. They were called products of incest. They were called racist bastards, little, little dirty ass crackers. Oh, and at the same time, these so-called wonderful human beings were also calling the indigenous people, you know, Indians. That's what they are. I'm one too. Okay? So, I don't know why we're calling them indigenous people. They're Native Americans. All right? The mother race, if you will. Uh, anyway, they were calling these guys uh, Uncle Tomahawks and $5 Indians. I don't know what the reference for $5 Indian is. Apparently it's an insult. But that's what these guys were saying. This is what the news media never showed. All right? They never talked about this. Open bigotry, hatred, and racism. Captured on video. I guess, I guess you can be any race you want to be except for a white guy. Primarily a Christian conservative white guy. 
okay? You can be any ethnic group, you can be any sexuality, you can be any kind of special LGBTQ, one, two, three, four, five, I don't care, any group like that, and it's, oh, you know, it, it's fine. But if you're a white guy and a conservative, apparently it's open season to just say and do whatever they want. So this Nathan Phillips, the so-called 64-year-old Native American activist, who was so afraid of these children, these 16-year-old children who were minding their own business, who only started engaging with the crowd as the crowd was engaging with them. What did they do? What was the absolute horrible thing that they did? They sang their school chant anthem. Wow, that's, um, that's right up there with the Holocaust. Those, those insidious pricks. I can't believe it. Oh my God, they sang their spirit anthem. We might as well tie them to a cross and burn them alive. I mean, the Salem witch trial is over again. You know, how dare these insensitive assholes. This so-called Native American who was, which I'm not doubting he's Native American, okay? I'm not trying to say that. But this guy who was so-called afraid, just fearful for his life, he decides to put himself in the middle of this group. Walks right up to the one kid, this Nick Sandman, I think his name is. Starts banging his drum literally two inches away from his face. I mean, where I, where I come from, that is provoking a fight if I've never seen it. And it goes on for quite some time. And now what the media will have you believe is that this kid was just staring at this Native American with this smug look, you know. He had a smile on his face, and I'm pretty sure it's one of those what the hell do I do kind of things. I'm just going to stand here and smile and hopefully it just goes away. The whole time this Native American, this Nick Phillips, is banging his prayer drum or his voodoo glow stick or whatever the hell you want to call it, you know, in this kid's face. You know, he's lucky he didn't get knocked out by someone because that is, I mean, talk about encroaching in someone's space. You know, you're walking into their bubble, essentially. You're forcing yourself onto them. But no, the media did not report it that way. No, it's these kids, these 16 year old kids, by the way, they somehow are the ones who instigated this confrontation. Oh, no, they didn't. They just so had to have the audacity to be there wearing MAGA hats. You know, and the reaction of the social media crowd, all right, the reaction of the news media, first of all, what horrible liars. How insidious of these people absolute hypocritical liars. They wonder why we don't take the news seriously, why we don't believe it, why so many people believe Trump when he says fake news. You know, it's because of crap like this. It would have taken a monocle of research to find the same information that I found that was easily located. I mean, the moment I saw the video clip originally, I said, this makes no sense, let me look into it. I literally did a Google search, found the hour and 49 minute video, watched the video, and came to my own conclusion that they were full of shit. Completely full of shit. You know, these guys could have done the exact same thing, but they didn't. Instead, they took a four minute clip of it, they edited the crap out of it, and then they put it on the news media, trying to proclaim these children, children, as hate mongers. Again, children, 16 years old guys, these kids on Twitter, okay, Twitter, the, the group like Facebook that claims that we will not tolerate bias and bigotry and, and hate speech. You have celebrities. You have people online saying things like, let's, let's lock the kids into the school building and burn it down. You have a producer from Disney, a man by the name of, give me just a second, Jack Morrissey. He shared a tweet wanting to send these kids head first into a wood chipper and had a little photo of it. Like a cartoon photo of this wood chipper spewing out red lines as these supposedly these kids are being dumped in. Thanks Twitter. Thanks for showing us how much of a fucking liar you are. Again, apparently you can hate conservatives, you can hate white people, and that's totally okay. But God forbid if this would have been a black guy, you know, if this would have been indication of an Asian, or LGBTQ, I mean, these, that would have gone nowhere. But because it's a conservative white kid, that's cool. But again, these 16-year-old kids, and they're saying, let's murder them. Let's beat them. 
you got people calling the school saying, expel them. Mob mentality at rampant speeds. No one did the research. No one looked into the video. They just automatically came to a judgment. You know, I've said this before, this is frightening. This is frightening in this nation when your life, your career, your opportunities can be instantly ruined either by a video or a tweet, which in and of itself is stupid, okay? Again, if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you don't want to see it, you know? If something offends you, so what? You're a grown adult. You don't have to be offended. You can just turn it off. You can look the other way. No, we have to go salt the earth around these people and not just, you know, not just ruin them, but God damn it, let's just kill them now, apparently. That's cool. That's just A-okay. What a bunch of hypocrites. <clears throat> I'm waiting for all the for all the uh, stories coming out from you know from the news media and from all these celebrities redacting you know these words that they've said, all this hatred that they've said. I'm waiting for it. You've seen them come out and say, "Oh well, you know, there's been some corrections to the story," but they've yet to issue apologies to these kids, to the families of these kids, and quite frankly, I hope they sue the shit out of every one of these groups. I really do. I'd love to see every one of these news media outlets who reported the story the way that they did just. I'd love to see them just destroyed by this. How long can they sit there and get away with lying to us? How long can they get away with distorting the truth and the facts and evidence when they know damn well what the facts are and we're just supposed to just take it? I mean, they're shaping people's opinion. Like I said, you've now got people threatening to kill 16-year-old kids for nothing. And I'm really worried that there's a bunch of sick assholes that are out there who would actually do it. But yet, we're the problem. You guys, unbelievable. You know, you got this guy from The Daily Show. What is his name? Trevor Noah, I think his name is. You know, just says on TV that he would like to punch that smug looking kid in the face. I got a challenge for you, Trevor, if you ever get the opportunity to watch this. Why don't you come to me and say that? Why don't you hit me? I'll give you the first slug. Then I will rip your ass apart. I'd love to see you try it. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later.